Hello, welcome. My name is Bryce Tubbs. With me today is Shannon Miller Lutz. Um, she's the owner and coach of SML Coaching as well as a licensed real estate agent. I'm extremely excited to be able to share her story with you today and you know, cannot wait to see what comes from this conversation. Thank you so much, Shannon. My pleasure. Awesome. So, you know, we, we talked um, previously about your experiences and all the cool things that you can bring to this interview. So can you just um, kind of go back in time and tell us, you know, what was life like before you got into coaching and what was the catalyst or cause that got you into this field? Sure. So um, I spent about 13 and a half years as a real estate agent in the Baltimore area. And over the years, I, you know, like a lot of agents, I struggled to grow my business and, uh, and it was quite successful. It was quite successful. I had a small team and um, I found that I was working um, still pretty hard, even with a team, you know, 24 seven real estate never stops. And um, I, you know, I, I started suffering from burnout and I, I started wondering what was it all about? You know, I was making a great living and I had a lot of income, which was, you know, great. Um, but I wasn't spending a lot of time with my husband and, um, you know, he worried about my health and, um, I, I had my own coach and our conversations went from how do I increase my production to why am I doing this? And so I worked with a transformational mindset, life coach, whatever you want to call it, and quickly realized that, you know, I wanted to leave a legacy. Um, I wanted my, my time here on earth to mean something. And if I could help um, enough people realize their true potential and live that purpose driven life, like I've created for myself, you know, I, I might be able to change the world by changing enough people. So, you know, can you, you, you actually have a lot of experience with building relationships and building networks um, and networking. Can you kind of shed some light into, or for the newer life coaches watching at really how to go and grow, you know, your local network, maybe start yeah. just, just, just similar to how you did with real estate. Yeah. So just real quickly in real estate, you know, when I first started as a new agent, I didn't have a lot of business. So I took a lot of classes. I joined the local board. I was in charge of committees. I was on committees. I ran committees. And what that did for my real estate business was um, just getting those relationships within the business that helped me, um, you know, when I would present a contract and the other agent knew my reputation of being honest and hardworking and everything on the other end that would help. So I'm, I'm using that experience in my coaching uh, career to do the same thing. So like joining the ICF and the local chapter and networking with other agents on social media platforms, because, you know, we all have our own niches. And so the more people that you can um, connect with, at least in my, in my world, I feel this, the more people you can connect with, you know, um, you may find someone that's dealing with burnout or wants to find the purpose of their life. And you're like, you know, that's not really my niche, but I know an amazing coach that does that. And then I may know somebody that's looking for corporate coaching. And I'm like, I don't do that. But you know what? I connected with somebody on LinkedIn that is a great corporate coach that I can connect you with. And so it's just about you know, being in that community of like-minded people and knowing what your strengths are and then rewarding the people in your world when, you know, some opportunity arises for them. Can we ask, oh, that's a good thing. So you talked about strengths. Maybe, you know, are there people who aren't life coaches or just people in general, how can you start to identify and break down what your true strengths are? Mm. So you've got to align with your values. Right. And that was a big aha for me in my coaching of figuring out what I wanted to do. Um, my, my values are, um, well, the first one's humor. <laughs> so I laugh a lot. Um, but it's also, you know, uh, fairness and um, uh, trustworthiness and um, um, just being connected to um, to your true self, you know, and living authentically, living authentically. So once you know what your values are, I mean, the reason we get um, angry, upset, hurt, disappointed is because our values are being compromised in some way. 
Like when someone lies to you and you get upset, it's because you have the value of honesty. Maybe they don't, right? So it's first identifying what your values are and then finding something that your values can be honored. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It does. You know, so my legs are kind of hurting, so I'm going to switch angles. But, you know, what, what, what problems are people generally trying to solve when they come to work with you? Mm. Usually they're not feeling connected to what they're doing on a daily basis. They wake up and they say, oh, God, not another day. Mm. Same shit, different day, right? <laughs> so yeah. they, they want to find something that gives them meaning and purpose or you know, whether that's changing a career or taking a, a side job and making that into a career or just somehow reconnecting to the passion that gets them motivated to get up in the morning, you know, and, and sometimes it's in work, sometimes it's in their personal life. You know, a lot of my clients are um, parents that kids have left the nest and, you know, your identity gets wrapped up in your kids. I mean, my kid's going to be 25. I, I get it. Like That's everything's right. about the kid. Right. And then when they go off, you're like, Oh God, I was a mom for so long. And now I'm, I'm not a day to day mom. Like what do I want to do with my time? So it's just about finding that connection to your, to your true self and your purpose. And like, What's going to make me happy on a, on a daily basis? That, that's what people I find that I, I really draw those people to me um, that are just struggling with. I need to get some passion back in my life, either in work, personal, whatever, but I, I don't like my life. My life has chosen me. I want to choose what I do with my life. Uh, so, you know, once you've identified your values, I'm sure that there is a lot of fear that comes, you know, with now I know what I do. And before was, I didn't know what to do, but now, you know, is there generally an underlying fear that people have once they have really gained that clarity that stops them from taking action? Yeah. So the fear is, um, the fear of change. I mean, everybody has fear of change, small fear, big fear, whatever, but change is uncomfortable, right? So there is, you kind of live your life and you're doing your thing. And then when you have this awakening and you're like, oh crap. I was going to say another four letter word. Sorry. Oh crap. Um, I realize now that I want to change things and that's scary because I don't know what that looks like moving forward. I know what my life looked like before and it, yeah, it was miserable, but I know what it looked like. So people have to have that, um, you know, just like walk through that fear and realize what's on the other side is so amazing that it's going to be worth that little bit of uncomfortableness, but you can't go back to sleep. Once you're a, you have that awakening that not, something needs to change, you can't go back to sleep. You can't because you'll be so miserable because now you know. Yeah. Now you know. Like before you didn't know. Now you know. You, you got to go through that fear. And, um, and, you know, we've all done it. I've done it in my life, you know. That red pill, blue pill from Matrix, right? <laughs> exactly exactly but you gotta you gotta move forward i mean that's why we're here you know i mean we're not here just to like be miserable and i mean you're younger than me but you know you get to a point in your life where you're like well i'm gonna say it again crap um I, you know just demonetize <laughs> that's another one of my values is cursing a lot sorry about that anyway um so but you know how sad is it if you don't live your life you were meant to live? Honestly, how sad would that be? Um, it depends on if you're taking the pill or not. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's an interesting thing. Yeah, because like, like some people feel that things are you know not working, but then we don't take the time to do so. And we always live in that zone of, you know, one day I'll be able to do it. Can you talk about taking advantage of kind of this, the slow down, you know, well, slow down for some people um, mm -hmm. to start to identify and to use, give yourself permission to find those values. Yeah. Um, there are some people that they are comfortable, you know, being asleep and they're like, Oh, I'll retire one day. And then everything will, you know, that'll be my dream life, you know, and then, most likely they're going to get to retirement and it's not going to be all that great. Right. Yeah. So, um, it's, it's really about valuing yourself 
which I think a lot of people struggle with too, you know, um, valuing yourself, um, what you, what you have to give others. And, and like you said, slowing down and really looking at it and not everybody's comfortable with that. You know, I, I know I, I love growth. I love reading and learning and, you know, and everybody doesn't come from that mindset. Um, and I, you know, everyone's on their own journey and everyone's going to either make it to the next level, you know, um, without awakening or not. So I, I wouldn't say that there's a way to like make people like slow down, but I, I, my hope is like when people just get that little urge that they, that they talk to somebody, it's a therapist, it's a coach, it's a mentor or whatever, just to kind of open that little crack and just say, oh gosh, you know, there's something else there and just to follow it. Mm. Um, and, and that's my hope too, is like, even if I'm, I'm talking to people that aren't my clients, like I talk about this stuff because hopefully I can plant a little seed where they're like, huh, yeah, maybe I am meant for more, you know? So, you know, an additional side question to that is, you know, so just like you're saying, people always want to say later until retirement, um, mixed with the slowdown question of slowing down. Yeah. Um, Shoot, I, I'm kind can, of I share a per, can I share a personal story about yeah. how that happened for me? Good. So a little over a year ago, 15 months ago, I was out of town at a real estate convention for my company. And um, I had a tendency to walk really fast. Mm. I was always like in a hurry, right? There was always more to do, like busy, 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 right? Remember how I said the burnout and the, you know, 24 uh, seven. And um, I walk fast, I talk fast, I, I didn't leave space for, you know, a lot of um, stuff to come in, right? I was always go, go, go. And I was just on my way back to the hotel, it was early, the convention started the next day, and I uh, wasn't watching where I was going. And I tripped over a um, tree root in the sidewalk and I fell. And when I caught myself on the sidewalk, I um, shattered the ball of my humerus into five pieces unbeknownst to me at the time. I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. People were like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I got this, no problem. I'm type A, you know, high energy, alpha female. I'm, I'm, I don't get hurt, right? And, uh, and I had to fly home the next day with my arm in a sling. I was in so much pain. It was about two weeks before they operated. I had 10 pins and a plate in this arm. And talk about change. Like I had my morning routine. I would get up and I'd cuddle with a kitty and I'd meditate and I'd exercise and I'd read and I had my whole routine. And that was like thrown out the window. I mean, I could barely function. My husband had to do everything for me. And for someone who's so independent and so um, I'll just do everything myself, like asking for help for, I mean, literally everything was, it was hard. It was hard. And so I really had to look at, all right, why did this happen? And um, I, I came to the realization that um, my unconscious mind was like, you're not listening to me. You need to slow down. Like I already made the decision to be a coach and to sell my real estate business and move where I wanted to live and everything else. And I wasn't doing it fast enough. So my unconscious mind threw me down on the ground and said, slow down, slow down. And I had no choice but to slow down. And here I am 15 months later and I'm living where I want to live, got my coaching business. And um, I honestly don't think it would have happened as quickly if I hadn't had that accident, you know? Interesting. And a great, great, you know, thing about that story was not only did you utilize that slowdown, you recognize it, you actually took action. So that's really, really important. You know, what is the vision kind of either for your life or one year, five years, however far down the road you want to go, what's the vision look like? Yeah. So um, when, when I was looking into becoming a coach, I talked to one of my coach and I've had a handful of coaches over the years. Um, and he's, and I said, you know, what does a day look like for you? And he goes, well, I'm either coaching or I'm working on my own growth. I'm reading, I'm doing webinars. And I said, oh my God, that sounds like heaven. And it is heaven. <laughs> Cause like I said, I love growth. So um, my goal is to, um, is to be coaching and pouring into other people. Obviously, that's why we become coaches. Um, and to also work on my own growth. 
you know, um, I, I feel like coaching both as a coachee and as a coach has changed my life considerably. And in this next year, I'm hoping to grow my coaching business. Um, I'm looking to network in my new area where I live so I can meet people here. And in 10 years, I will be, <laughs> I'll be 65 in 10 years. Wow. So, um, you know, one of the reasons that I wanted to do something other than real estate is I could not visualize myself uh, schlepping up and down stairs at 70, you know, I'm like, I got bad needs. So um, what I love about coaching is I can do this for as long as I can. So I'm looking to coach until they cart me away. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, let me ask you this question. So what does success look like to you now that, you know, you're kind of in, in an evolved state and you're kind of moving in a different direction? What does success mean to you now? That's great. My, my coach actually asked me that recently because <clears throat> coming from real estate where success was like close transactions, GPI, blah, 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 right? It's a little bit more um, kind of ethereal with the coaching, for me at least. So it's not about like... I got to coach like 10 people a day. And I, you know, that doesn't leave that space, right. For myself, for my husband, that was the whole goal. Right. Uh, so for me, success means that I impact as many people as I possibly can in their journey on this little spinning marble we call earth. Um, and it's not about how, it's not about like cramming in as many as possible. Right. It's about, going deep with people and really, really making a huge impact. Mm -hmm. To me, that's success. Wow. That's powerful. You know, I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for coming on and speaking with us today. Oh, I, I, well, like I said, I, I love connecting with people and relationships. And so this was a no brainer for me. I really appreciate it. Excellent. You know, where can people go to either learn more about you or to go connect with you? So my website is smlcoaching.com and there is a little form there, connect us and that, that'll get you right into me. I am on social media, Facebook, Instagram, um, uh, SML Coaching on Facebook um, and, and I believe it's just SML Coach on Instagram, Link, um, LinkedIn, just Google my name, Shannon Miller Lutz. I don't think there's many of us. <laughs> Excellent. You know, and for those watching, we really appreciate your time as well. Um, I know there's a lot of different things you can be on and, you know, really appreciate your focus and your, you know, desire to help yourself out. So if you want to go and join a community where other people are improving themselves every day and helping others do the same, I recommend you go check out our community. There's only a link above or below the video. Basically, it's a mastermind where people come together and improve and take steps to enhance their life every single day. So if that's what you've been searching for, go ahead and click on the link out above or below the video right now. Join us in our community. I cannot wait to see you in there and help you out. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed creating it. Feel free to hit that share button so other people can get some benefit as well. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. We're done recording in three and two and